Hi, this is Phil Pendlebury, developer of MEEP. Here we're going to look at a basic export using MEEP 6.5. I've got four tracks set up, kick, snare, cymbals and bass, all with very small parts on for the purpose of this demonstration. What we need to do first is select the first track we want to export. MEEP will export progressively downwards, so the first track would be kick, then snare, cymbals and so on. So we make sure that track is selected. Don't worry about locators for now because Meep will deal with that itself. So now we bring up Meep. Make sure your audio application series is set correctly and then we look at the locator selection. In this export we're just going to use all projects which means Meep will set the locators to the whole project. Here you can tell Meep the number of tracks you want to export. Now we could type this as a number 4, which would export 4 tracks. Or, if we're going to get the names from the project tracks, we can use the stop track. Stop track will read the track name and compare it to what you've written in the stop track name box here. When those two are the same, MEEP will do that export and then stop. If you have the option set to stop at stop track, then MEEP will stop at that track, i.e. it will not export that track. But we'll leave it at export stop track for now. We must have project track set for this to work. I've set the path already, which is where I want the exports to go. I'm just going to quickly have a look at some advanced options. We'll leave the key send delays on normal weights. We're going to create a track list log and we're going to create an end screenshot. So that's it, we're all ready to go. The first track's set and all the other settings are ready. So we press OK. Now Meep's going to give you a chance to compare the name of your stop track that you've typed into Meep with the actual track itself. And as we can see, they look accurate. At this point, you can either return back to Meep, quit, or hit OK. Once we hit Go, Meep takes over. After a little bit of setting up, you'll see that Meep will select the locators to encompass the entire project, which is only small in this case. Meep solos the first track, moves the mouse, double clicks and gets the track name, which will now paste into the export audio mix down dialog along with the path and export the track. Once that's done, Meep unsolos, moves down to the next track gets the track name, opens up the export audio mix down dialog, pastes in the track name and exports the track. This process repeats with the symbols And finally, onto the bass track. Now because this is the track that we've called our stop track, Meep should read the track name, export the track, naming it bass, and it will now know that this is the final track to export, and Meep will stop. It shows that it's finished, Meep Complete, and there's a little bit of information about the export itself, the approximate time that you've saved by letting Meep do this job, and it shows that it's processed four tracks and exported four tracks. No tracks have been skipped. There's the name of the last track exported, and there is the export path that you chose. Now at this point, you can also exit uh, Meep here, or you can exit and open the folder showing the exports. So we'll do that now. And here you can see the files that Meep has exported. There are the four WAV files and there's uh, the text file which shows you some of the information about the export and there's a screenshot of the whole thing. And that's the end of a basic export.